Did you know that some of the best guitar grooves happen when we actually procrastinate? Let's talk about how this happens when we shuffle with our strumming. I'm David Harsh, founder of Guitar Success For You, and I'm all about guitar artistry and discovering how to make that artistry happen. Today, I'm gonna unpack my unique strategy for shuffling. You may be quite familiar with it, but even if you are, make sure you watch until the very end so you can catch my bonus pro tip. We can use the words shuffling or swinging interchangeably. If you have any jazz background, you know that swinging is pretty ubiquitous to that genre. When we shuffle or swing, we can actually procrastinate to make our grooves happen. What do I mean? Well, first, let's talk about rhythm. A typical eighth note rhythm in 4-4 four, four time goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I want to draw your attention to the upstrum offbeats on the ands. These are what are called straight eighth notes. But shuffling actually involves delaying the upstrums for the offbeats. How can we bring this into sharp relief? With tuplets, specifically eighth note triplets. This is where we divide a beat, which is normally two eighth notes, into three notes that fill the same amount of time. So now, inside a single quarter note value, we have three eighth note triplets. So, if we had eight eighth notes in a measure of 4-4 four, four time before, how many eighth note triplets would fill a measure of 4-4 four, four time now? Twelve. And I like to count eighth note triplets like this. One a la, two a la, three a la, four a la, one a la, two a la, three a la, four a la. Each of the three eighth note triplets can be called a triplet partial. But here's where it gets interesting. The first two partials can be combined into a quarter note that fills up the first two thirds of a beat. The third triplet partial is on its own as the final eighth note triplet. And now we have shuffled eighth notes. So we can count this as one, la two, la three, la four, la one, la two, la three, la four, la. And if we want to strum it, we just strum like we did with straight eighth notes, but this time we procrastinate the upstrum on that third triplet partial, like this. One, la two, la three, la four, la one, la two, la three, la four, la. So procrastination actually pays off here. Have you heard the procrastinator's motto? It goes like this. If you wait until the last minute, it only takes a minute. Yeah, I typically don't benefit from procrastinating, but here I do. I've got one more iteration to bring this through, and it is to put our printed chart back into what appears to be the straight eighths realm, but with one crucial modification. Look closely, and you'll see that although the eighth notes in this measure appear to be straight, right above the time signature is the qualifier that shows us that we are shuffling. It basically says, shuffle this puppy. And of course, my strummed arrow colors show you exactly where I'm going with this. Watch again as I strum this the same way, but with fresh eyes on the revised rhythmic notation. One, la two, la three, la four, la one, la two, la three, la four, la. Now, it's nice that we've learned how to shuffle eighth notes, but what about some practical application? I agree, it would be nice to hear this in the context of a legit strumming pattern. And fortunately, I have one for you. This is a pattern I learned early on that I like to call the camp strum. You can call it whatever you want, but to me, it brings back memories of camp. It's also very legit in the pop realm, and there are artists out there who have made top-selling songs with this strum. It goes like this. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. I'll strum it with a nice E minor seven add nine chord, just to bring it to life a bit more. Now, I just played that straight. You know what's next. I'm gonna delay the upstrum for a shuffle rhythm. Here I go. One, two, la, la, four, la, one, two, la, la, four, la. Four. 
I'll strum this a few times with a few chords in the E Dorian mode just to take you into the groove a bit. Quite nice, right? Now you've seen and heard a legit strum shuffled. And yes, I promised you a bonus pro tip. If you're planning to shuffle your strum as you record in the studio, take your metronome or your app and practice with a 12-8 measure. In other words, set the metronome for 12 clicks per measure at your desired shuffled tempo. That way, you hear the three clicks per beat and you can totally lock in with the first and third partials as you strum. Yes, metronomes can be digitally customized to simply click only the first and third partials as well. And any studio gear you'll work with can provide this. But in a pinch, your metronome can provide this helpful step. Get used to that three clicks per beat and your shuffling will settle into a beautiful pocket. If you have a drummer you collaborate with regularly, do some shuffling as he or she plays. I think they will love it because they can articulate all kinds of triplet possibilities on their drums, particularly on their snare, that your shuffle groove opens up for them. I'll give you a taste with a glimpse at our guest expert interview with touring and studio drummer Jason Edwards as he plays his drums alongside my shuffle groove of the camp strum. One, two, three, four. Nice. Now let's take that at the same tempo, but now I'm going to shuffle it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Is there more? Absolutely. Can we shuffle and palm mute? Yep. Can we shuffle with flat picking or finger style? Yep. Can we strum our triplets? Yep. And I show you how to do all of that and more inside Guitar Success For You, a game changer of a guitar learning experience. Today's time with me has just been a taste, but I hope it has given you insights for how to expand your artistry with this simple twist on rhythm. Inside Guitar Success For You, we will take you much further, much deeper, and with a very intentional process all laid out for you in a community of like-minded followers of Christ who share similar goals. I encourage you to check out guitarsuccessforyou.com while the opportunity is here. I think you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.